Alright guys, I sped up the video because it was like 40 minutes long and I figured it would be a little bit too long for people to watch. So I basically just speed sped it up about uh, two times, but I will cover what I'm basically working on and... Uh, from the last episode, we kind of built this little structure here, and I wanted to uh, set up something a little bit different in regards to um, actually building a structure. Now, this one will be done through actual jigsaw blocks, a little bit different than, you know, just building a general structure. I figure we could probably do it through procedurally generated uh, walls, segments, and have a little bit more flexibility over what we do add. Uh, now that I know how to use the jigsaw blocks and stuff like that, I can do a lot more with it. So I'm also not so much restricted to making a specific topic like a village so I can actually work freely with it. And given that I have the experience from the village tutorial, I am able to um, figure out how to build this uh, segment and then also make it so it's a little bit more dynamic on different aspects like we're going to build a entire second floor option as well which will be completely randomly generated uh, all the wall segments for everything but the door will be random and interior walls so basically um if it's going to have a window, those windows are going to be random. If there's decor on those windows, those are going to be random as well. And then there's the chance of it just spawning a regular roof or a second floor. I'm not sure how that's going to actually work out. So we're going to have to play around with that and see if we can actually do that or not, giving the blocks. But right now I'm just sort of working on some aspects that we maybe not necessarily need like for example i don't think we would have needed to have those pillars generate through jigsaw blocks though it would have been possible it wasn't really required for what we needed so i just basically put them in i mean if we we're making a structure completely random then we could uh probably figure out what we could put there through other objects and stuff but when it comes to fences, they're a little bit harder to work with and you have to get the right rotations with the MBT and all that other stuff. So it's kind of like a pain in the bum to actually work on for fences. But uh, things like stairs and stuff are easier to um, work with. So that's why we're using a lot of stairs and stuff like that. We're also adding some lamps. Now these that wall section there is not going to be random because we're going to be putting a, a possible stair there. And uh, that will be when we add the second floor. So basically the second floor will allow us to uh, have an entire roof section as well. And if we wanted to go even higher, we could theoretically go higher if we wanted to. But I figure two stories will probably do just for this kind of example in this particular build. Uh, if we want to do higher structures or something like that, we might want a little bit wider foundation and that would require a little bit more rooms and stuff like that but uh not saying that we're not going to build that in the future we just might not be suited for this particular build and then i could basically go ahead and start working on the roof and that's what i'm doing right now i'm just adding some decorations i'm keeping to the theme that we worked on last episode and um kind of an outline around the perimeter of the roof and then I basically added the thatch inside of it so that's kind of the, th the style I'm going for I was experimenting a little bit with the uh, the roof I wanted to see if I could actually get something that worked for kind of like an outline on the corners but I wasn't sure if this would actually work I did end up refining it a little bit once I had the roof um, mostly done so basically I just needed the thatch and then I was going to fill that in and we could um, start working towards the top of the roof now this is just a regular um kind of like cone shape roof it's not going to really have any particular faces if we wanted to add more roof designs we could always do that we could add an additional layer if we wanted to and then make additional roof designs we might do that in the future i'm not sure yet but i just want to make sure that this concept will work we'll expand it later on if we uh so do desire to do so but um, at the moment, I just want something basic so we can basically know that the entire system will work and then we can focus in on the interior design uh, generation, which will be its thing of its own, which we'll need to figure out uh, how to do because the rooms are 
pretty much structured by a three by three area. That's usually what I build within, but um, sometimes I do four by four, but it's rare that I do that. And with a three by three, you have to really plan where you're gonna be putting things. So if we do add room de decorations and stuff like that, it's going to have to be based on the three by three grid uh, for the tile system. And that way we will be able to kind of figure out where all the things are. Uh, we could do also a static rotation, which will allow us to allow, uh, basically n not rotate this, the structures around, which is probably better in that regard. And it will allow us to make sure that it's set up in a certain property, but it requires it coming from the bottom up, which is a little more difficult uh, to work with because you have to pre-plan where everything's going. And far as I know, some things like paintings and what was the other thing? Armor stands, I think it was, um, have a hard time to actually generate with the uh, structure blocks. So it's just one of those things that we won't be able to actually implement, unfortunately, but um, we would be able to do other things. And because it is using Forge, we'll be able to um, decorate with custom blocks if we want to as well. So that's kind of the design that I'm going for, kind of like a shaped uh, style like that. I ended up refining it a little bit more just to decorate the inner part. And I ended up going with something like this just to kind of decorate it a little bit more on each side. Now it doesn't add too much detail, but just enough where it will give the roof some general shape um, and make it not look so uh, like one solid texture. Like if we were working with a different roof design, like the one that we did prior, then it would probably work. But I uh, wanted to make sure that everything was properly set up. Now those particular windows aren't going to work on our second floor. Reason being, this is a little bit higher and we still need a floor on the inner part. So we're gonna need to put, generate the, um, the walls from the ceiling down. And the reason why I'm placing these jigsaw blocks like this is so the line is facing me when I'm placing it. And that way I can set turn off the rotation and make sure that the actual um, the actual windows and stuff are placed in properly. So the rotations are really important when I'm actually setting them up. And then I just basically filled in the roof so no entities or anything like that would spawn in them. I mean, if that's your thing, you want to put a spawner or something up there, you can do that. But uh, I didn't want it uh, to cause any problems in the dark or anything like that for any entities that we might add in the future, uh, monsters or anything like that. So um, that's basically what I worked on there. And then I just needed to get the floor in, figure out where all this stuff is going. And I did change quite a bit of this uh, later on because I didn't know where all this was going to go. And I needed to make sure that the the windows and everything like that would basically be able to generate. And now one thing to note is when we spawn this initial structure, the, the base of the structure, that will count as our first generation. So we're going to need to make sure that uh, any generations after that, so we'll have a total of like six or whatever, right? So as long as we have the total amount of up to six uh, parts will be able to con generate the entire structure. So for example, um, if we wanted to generate the upper part, that would count as our second, I believe, either our first or a second. I can't remember, like, I don't know if it's going to be the first or second, but it's going to count as the first, like, one digit of our thing. And then we have our walls. So the walls are going to be also part of our second or our third uh, iteration of the structure. So we have to really make sure that we have enough room to actually generate all this. When we do the interior and stuff like that, we can always put that on our main uh, roof uh, style and make sure that it generates uh, as a third iteration of the actual structure itself. I think that would work just fine. Now I was going to put in windows like this. I ended up going with um, rolling back that particular idea because I didn't know if I wanted to uh, do that per se. Uh, reason being, um, 
it is the second floor and there's going to be a third floor so we don't have to worry about the stairs going up to the next floor so i was going to do the windows and stuff that were permanent design on this level but i decided to not go with that particular design because um we could still generate random windows theoretically on that level so i ended up just making sure that it was actually filled out but it was a good indi indication that uh, this would be a level that we would need to work on and give gave me some extra additional ideas for actually designing the windows. Um, I ended up adding a couple variants later on uh, that allowed me to get dirt uh, from our mod. And uh, basically on that dirt, what I placed was like a little flower pot or like, you know, planter kind of thing and that gave me some inspiration on how to build um, a few other things that we might need to do so we'll be sending a random flower uh, through the what was it the processor list and we'll basically build base it off of the the uh, flower that we have here and we're going to go ahead and randomize that once we have the windows and stuff built. So we only need theoretically two of these windows, uh, one with um, the planter, one without, and then we can basically do everything else uh, through the JSON file. So I'm not too worried about making sure that it's dynamic on the structure itself, but uh, this is kind of what it will look like when it's finished, kind of. Um, we'll have like a room here and this will go up a little bit more. Uh, you can see that the the jigsaw blocks are aligned and then I wanted to make sure that this was like set up and there's a little bit more decoration stuff in here. So I was just basically trying to get this as stable as possible so when we do place in the structures we'll be able to um, have everything pretty uh, similar. So I was thinking about some molding and stuff on the top here so just give it some extra detail. and. Basically, this is what I came up with for the uh, the walls and stuff like that. So when we actually place these walls in, what's going to happen is it's going to look like the the ones on the right hand side. So that will kind of turn out. And I needed some more room, so I just started removing this entire build. Um, I started off by hand, and then I decided to just remove it by command. So I basically just filled it in with air and then fix the terrain from what was there. So that just saved a whole bunch of time uh, using the fill command. And that opened up some more room for the new windows that we're going to need for the second floor. So uh, this is the point where I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need windows for that. So that's basically what I was working on, was just getting clearing out the area. And then I needed to figure out what I needed for the actual structure and I needed to place like these a little bit like that but then I realized later on that I needed to raise this up because we have that bottom piece of the planter so I needed to kind of move that down a little bit and then set up the planter or the window like that so there will be two versions of the plantered version and then there will be a non-plantered version which will also have an additional two versions there will be one with a window without a window and then there will be one with a window with a planter, one without a window with a planter. And that will give it a little more variety over the different types. And when we place those particular um, windows in, what we can do is we can basically tell the plant inside of it that we're basically spawning on top to be a specific block. So we can do that all through a processor list. Or is it a processor list? I think it's... Um, yeah, I think it's like a processor list uh, that it's called. I always get confused with the template pools, but um, uh, basically it's a processor list, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so this is basically what I'm doing. And then I was just setting up the planter on these sides. So this is all what it will look like when it's fu fully done. And I really like the design of it. And we can just replace that center block for the flowers with uh, something different when we decide and it just requires a little bit of uh, customization but crops actually have the same mechanics so we should be able to do it no problem so basically i wanted to move this entire structure over a little bit to another location so we can plan our second roof so i wanted to put the stairs in as well so i wanted to move this all the way over 
a few blocks and then paste it in. Well, actually move the block, the entire structure so it wasn't going to um, get in the way. So this is, I think, where I decided to actually make it a little bit more um, uh, like part of the, like remove those two windows. I was going to move the stairs over, but I needed to figure out how many blocks down I needed to go. So I counted from here down, and then I basically pasted the stairs in. Now this will be technically part of the second structure, the the roof. So if there isn't a um, upper floor, the stairs hopefully won't spawn. Um, hopefully there's going to be enough room where the entire thing will spawn. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work with that particular thing. We will have to fly around and test a, quite a bit in order to know that it's going to work properly. But I needed to make sure that the template pools were set up. And the template pool is basically um, basically a list of different structures that are going to have a chance of generating. And then we have the name, which is basically when we want to target something, we need that name for it. And in this case, this is the base of the structure. So we're going to need to set up uh, basically the um, the template pool and then I was going to do that but we actually don't need uh, that particular one we need that over on the roof side and then we need to replace this with tail of biomes and whatever block this is so I need to get into the F3 screen for the advanced tooltips and then I could basically fill out the log registry name at the end there. So that will replace it with our own custom mod block. So we can basically go ahead and update this one. Now this one, we just need the uh, particular one for the log. We can delete these two. And we are going to need, I think I messed up on that one. Uh, I needed to delete the template pool and I needed the, um, the actual target name for the name here. So basically that will allow us to select the roof type and then it will basically be able to design what a random roof based on that. We'll exp like I said, uh, we'll probably expand this in the future uh, with different roof designs and stuff like that to give it a little bit more variety. Uh, but if we're adding a second floor, it will still be considered a roof. And for this one, I'm just basically setting up the windows. This is the second floor wall. And um, again, we're just setting up the names for these ones. We need to replace this with the planks. And then that way we can go ahead and uh, make sure that both of these are replaced with right blocks. And then we're going to need to do that with the floor parts as well. All these need to be basically updated for the pools and stuff like that but I needed to make sure that the planks were properly set up so I was going through that and then making sure that they were aligned uh, for all of these uh, it's important to line the structures when I'm working with that or they're going to be rotating all around and stuff like that and I don't want them to do that because I, I want them in a very specific rotation so I was doing this for this particular one as well so I just needed to remove the uh, parts here and because we're using planks for where this would actually need to go I'm just making sure that it replaces with the plank blocks in our mod and making sure that they're all aligned so making sure that this is aligned and all the other ones are aligned so once we got that done I could basically start working on the final things which are the target names so first floor door uh, we're going to need to set the namespace for that as well. Um, I'm going to, I was messing up some stuff here. It, like I said, it was like a 40 minute video. So um, it took a little time to uh, restructure a few things. So this is basically tail of biomes. And then I needed to make sure that the um, particular part here was large bricks. So once I did that, I knew that everything was set up properly and uh, I just needed to clear out these two things and uh, fill out the name for the actual thing. So this one will be the first floor window and this will allow us to properly set up these. So now I know that I need the first floor window for the target name for all these parts 
and then I needed to figure out a pool name for actually designing those. So uh, this one is going to be the second floor wall. And the reason why I'm doing this, uh, updating the particular things, is so I know that when I go ahead and make these template pools, I'll know exactly the names and stuff of them. And it's good to go as you're building too, because you'll need to know what where things actually go and stuff. And if you do it all last minute kind of thing, it might get a little bit harder to figure out. So one of the things that I have is just the basic path here. I wanted to add a little bit more um, information on that. So for example, that needs to be roof and we're going to set this one to um, second walls. And then we can basically update the template pool for all these for the second wall. Now. I'm I'm pretty sure somewhere around this time I ended up removing those two walls at the side there. Um, and I need to make sure that these were all set up. So first walls and I was basically filling that in. So all the template pools were set up. So when we do make our template pool, it'll be something like house, small, uh, doors, etc. And then we can basically go ahead and finish with actually building the entire roof. Uh, so one of the things that I ended up working on um, after the video was I ended up making the uh, a roof that fit this design. And I ended up making a couple more walls. But that's about it. I also filled it in with structure voids. Well, not all of it, but the inner part should still be cave air. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.